Poinsettias are a staple of the holiday season. Unless your cat chews on them like mine, our green thumb expert Rick Weist is here to explain the history of the plant. I'm Steve Zagman. With me as always is Rick Weiss. Rick, what are you doing? He's, he's coming in with something. Merry Christmas. Wow, it's that time of year. It's a season of giving and well, what better oh my goodness. thing to give someone Do you than see that? a plant. Yes, a special kind of plant that only comes out for uh, Christmas. Now, it's a poinsettia. Poinsettia. Not a point. Setia. It's a poinsettia. Now wrap that guy up because okay. it's chilly out here. It is above freezing, but they, of course, cannot handle the cold temperatures. So just fold that top right over okay. right there. Right. Now, the so reason doing? we call it a poinsettia Poin. is because it's named after Joel Roberts Poinsett. He really? was the, yeah, <laughs> okay. he was the uh, first ambassador to Mexico in the early 1800s, I guess James Monroe sent him down there and he fell in love with the plant which the Aztecs years and years ago used to celebrate uh, the season, the winter season and now today. Of course there was an individual in California who um, really developed poinsettias, the poinsettias that we enjoy today. And I don't care if you say poinsettia or poinsetta. Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Okay. But um, he developed them and then what they did was they took these poinsettias and they put them on news sets. They put them on television sets. Oh, and they, sure. You know, the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson right. and the plant really took off in popularity as a, a staple of the, the holiday season. Now, if you get one of these as a gift, like I just gave you one, Steve, they generally have a foil wrap on the bottom. Okay. So one of the first things you do when you get home is you're gonna poke some holes in that foil wrap and put a little tray under it. Okay, because we don't want water to collect inside that nice little foil hat. Right. The other thing to remember is if you get one of these, don't leave it in the car all day because <laughs> it's probably going to struggle. Right. Again, they do not like drafts. They don't like cold drafts. And I'm not talking about a Budweiser or a beer. I'm talking about the outdoor cold drafts and warm drafts. Keep it away from a heat register also, and you'll have a lot more success with your poinsettia. If you don't overwater it and you do those things, there's no reason why it can't be beautiful well into January and February of this year. So how long do these things really last? Oh, they'll last for a long, long time. The point is, the point, get oh, it? Yeah. yeah. Um, wow. Is that uh, they are photosensitive. So in other words, the bracts will color up based on the, uh, the lack of sunlight or less sunlight late in the season. So you can get that plant to grow outside this summer, it'll grow like crazy, but to get it to color up, take quite a bit of work next year to do. I was not expecting a history lesson of this plant, but thank you. Joel Roberts Poinsett, and by the way, you may not know this, but December 12 is National Poinsettia Day. Yeah, as it should be, as it should be. <laughs> All right, I can tell you're impressed. <laughs> well, thank you very much.